Good morning, kids. Uh, this video, you're going to watch it on Tuesday morning, but I'm actually doing it Monday night. So I am in my jammies because, like I told you guys, uh, we're going to have a spirit week this week. So uh, Monday was jammy day. If you guys happened to wear pajamas on another day, you could still definitely post pictures. Uh, and Tuesday, today, when you see this video, is, is called Talk About It Tuesday. So the idea is to share a quick 30 second or less video uh, about why you love Heritage Community Charter School. And I was thinking about that and I actually decided our, our journal prompt for today is just a for fun little journal. It's something about would you rather fly or swim to the bottom of the ocean, I think. You can do that or if you would rather, you can do your journal and have it be a quick journal about why you love Heritage Community Charter. And then maybe I could even type up some of those journals and uh, post those on Facebook or, or share them if you guys give me permission to do that. So if you wanna type that as your journal instead, I'm happy to share them uh, again if, if you want me to or give me permission. Um, okay, so that's kind of news for the week, spirit week. Um, other things, I sorry, I have a couple things on my mind tonight. So uh, some things that are going to be attached to this morning post. You're going to see a link for quizzes. I'm going to put the link, and in case the link doesn't work, uh, you know you can also just log in to quizzes.com with your username and password, and you should also see your assignment that way. Uh, your assignment is called Simple Complex and Compound Sentences. So just a little practice quiz, reading sentences and deciding what, what kind of sentence do you think that is. Here are the basics. Remember, if it is a simple sentence, it's telling one complete thought, one thing. If it's a compound sentence, it's telling us two things that could be completely separate ideas, separate sentences, but they've been combined into one. It's like a compound word. It could be separate, but it's together. And then if it's a complex sentence, that means it's two thoughts, two ideas, but they're very connected together. If you tried to separate them out, they wouldn't make quite as much sense on their own, okay? I don't think you're gonna get a perfect score on it and that's okay. You can try it up to three times, but you don't have to. It's just for practice. It will be open all week through uh, Saturday and then the test will close out. Okay, other things. Um, here are two things, well, oh, one other thing that's gonna be attached to this post. Uh, there will also be a link with documents with corrections. So like I said, I'm gonna try to do better and get you those corrections ahead of time so that parents, as you're working with students, you can refer back to that and say, oh, I, I see what she's meaning for you to do here. So corrections should be down at the bottom of this post. Okay, two other things. These were just really helpful um, things that I've noticed recently. One, I have had several parents who, rather than sending me individual pictures, in which case, lots of the time, like on Blooms, I have to go and open up every single picture, um, there is a function on your phone where if you go into notes, and this is for iPhones, but I know that there's a similar function on Androids. So you might just have to look it up, do a little bit of research. I haven't looked at that yet. But on iPhones, if you open up the notes app, which is just that it looks like a notebook paper with yellow at the top. And if you open that and start a new note and click on the camera, 
it automatically gives you an option to scan and you can push scan and then you can scan all of your pictures documents for the day um, and it will save it as one document and then you can just click on that document and email it to me or click on that document and share it in a text. Those are two of the easy ways to, to send it. I think you also can send it through Blooms that way. So it, it's just a helpful little thing, certainly not necessary, but something you can experiment with. Okay, another thing I saw, which I thought was amazing, and I think I'll have all my third graders do it next year when we're typing more on the computers, um, I had a student turn in a journal, and I think she just did this for fun, but she made every sentence a different color. So one sentence was red, one sentence was orange. And as I read it, it was pretty, it looked cute, and it was really great. She had these nice full sentences, and she had periods right where they needed to go. And I thought, this is a great idea a great way to help kids organize their thoughts and see their sentence formation a little bit better. Um, sometimes when you don't stop and think about those sentences, it all runs together and I'm not getting periods and punctuation where it should be. So just an idea, something to think about. Each sentence make it a different color and see what you think. Do I have capitals where I should? Do I have periods where I should? Um, are my sentences long and interesting or are they like this short? So that's an idea. Okay, and now uh, just to go over the, the jobs for the day real briefly. Um, <clears throat> let me pull that up. Okay, so you've got just two math pages, page 24 and 25, and then we're going to finish the packet this week, so you'll do 26 and 27 next time. Uh, logging into iReady, make sure you're doing it for about 20 minutes, or at least you've passed off a lesson. Uh, reading 30 minutes, either from a book or on A to Z reading, working on leveling up. Right now, um, Nathaniel and Richard are really close to passing off a level. Nathaniel's at like 70% finished with level Q and Richard's at 60%. So they're getting, they're getting there. Uh, what else do we have to do? Writing your journal. Um, and you can choose to write about the school if you would like to. And in other things, we have grammar. So that fourth page of grammar, uh, I've told several people if you start it today and finish it the next time and send it to me, I guess that would be on Thursday, that's okay with me. It's kind of a big page. Uh, and then doing the quiz, okay? And again, that can be done today or Thursday or any day through the weekend, really. Okay. And last but not least, here are the shout outs for the day. So <clears throat> I noticed, here's my list. It was a very small list, very small. And that's because uh, I'm only shouting out people who did completely every activity. And that was kind of tough. I think on Fridays, it's easy to say, Oh, well, I won't do it. I'll do it tomorrow or the next day because you have that time. But then sometimes we forget to go back and finish. Uh, so I had several people with everything done, but maybe not the artwork. Or everything done, but maybe not the quiz for the day. Or everything except they only did like six minutes of eye ready. Okay, so just little things, nothing I was too worried about. I've had lots of good work. Here are the people who finished. There's Andrew, Eli, Jackson, Anthony uh, Noriega, Cammie, Melissa, and Alyssa. So that's a small group of seven. But well done to you guys and really well done to everyone else who's been working hard all week. Um... The last thing I wanted to do was share some journals 